Hello there everybody, it's Dmogimod here, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. I kinda just freestyled that. In the last episode, we made it here through a foggy route over here to Celestic Town in order to deliver an old, I think it's called the Old Charm, right? Oh, I don't want to say it wrong, I'm pretty sure it's called the Old Charm, right? Yeah, the old charm, we're looking for Cynthia's grandmother because we're doing her a favor. And apparently she's the elder of this town, so we gotta look around for her. But since we just arrived here, how about we do some exploring, shall we? And, uh, I I, I think we found our, our lady. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but it only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punch that spaceman on my Pokemon. I... I don't think your Pokemon got older. I, I, mean, I guess they technically do get older with you, but uh, yeah, that guy looks familiar. All right, uh, we 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 know what's going on around here. But first of all, Dragon Fang over here. Dragon Fang here is a pretty simple but pretty handy item if you have a Dragon type Pokemon, such as Gibble, for example. It is a simple item that makes it so that your Dragon type moves get a power boost by equipping it. Pretty simple stuff. Not a bad item at all. But uh, I'll be honest with you, there's a good chance you're not going to have a dragon... Unless you're using the Gibble, like I mentioned before, like I showed off in that cave. There's a pretty good chance you're not going to have a dragon-type Pokemon on your team besides that. So uh, don't be too surprised if you don't have any use for it. For the time being. That being said, uh, we could go confront the guy immediately or we can explore town. You know what, actually? Nah, let's go confront him immediately. Hey, you! What are you doing? This sounds significant. There's nothing of value here. There's need to exist on the blood of a galactic bomb. You're trying to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. What's it gonna be? You're gonna mess with me? Absolutely. You're down to a both team galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. Yeah, but whatever you say, man. Let me let, let me beat up this crow gunk or skunky real quick. Oh, never mind. Apologies. You have a hound hour. That's level 32, so it should be evolved into a hound doom. But uh, hey, I'm not judging you. Do you? Anyways, I may be weak to you, but I'm, I'm fat. I'm, I'm faster. I was gonna say I'm not gonna care and eat this fire move, but I guess I'm just fast, okay? I know it's a baby and I'm a fully evolved Pokemon, but uh, I'm a giant tortoise. Uh, sure, I'll work with that, whatever. I genuinely am surprised I was faster, what the heck. Not that I'm complaining though, obviously. Uh, you won't see me complaining about that. Not me. And now for Golbat. Uh, Alright, Rock Blast hit two times to disappoint me once again. I cannot wait till we have another Rock move besides Rock Blast, because this move... It can potentially be really strong. If it hits all five hits, it's actually a really strong move. But as you can see, it only gets two hits for some reason. I don't know why. It's not It's not scripted. Maybe it's, maybe it's the iconic Let's Play Curse. But specifically for Rock Blast. For those who don't know, the Let's Play Curse is like this thing. The stigma that we've had. For the moment you hit the record button, everything goes to crap. Doesn't matter what, how good you are, doesn't matter what your luck is, doesn't matter any of that. You will have all the things that can go wrong, go wrong. And I guess that's just what's happening with Rock Blast. I don't get it. But it's fine. Two hits is still pretty good damage. I just got worked over by a kid, no less. Nah, I don't worry. You get used to it. <laughs> uh, too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happily rid of this place. And there we go. Pest control under uh, job completed. Oh, you are magnificent. Are you, aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old char. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia trusts you with this to deliver to me. Ah, uh, that's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. There you go. Old charm delivered. Mission complete. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Suno. These old charms are still discovered now and again. So just less the town, I want to look around inside the ruins. Not a terrible idea, honestly. We came all the way, we may as well check it out. What could be inside? Ooh, what's this? We examine the cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere? What is this all about? Okay, Penny Beasts have seen something like this. For there existed beings. Being so powerful, they were considered deities at a time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either being, as if they formed a pyramid. It's the ancient legend of Sinnoh that is told in Celestial Town. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who might you be? 
Well, if it isn't our familiar blue-haired friend. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I'm seeking the power to create an ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the free Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you were saying? I wouldn't know. I don't know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world with the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave pen you protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Uh... I mean, you kind of sound insane right now. Uh... You just walk in unannounced and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna destroy this mural you protected for years. I, I, yeah, I think we should fight him. I know you, traitor. We've met him Mount Cornet. Why do you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I'll show you the error of your ways. I'm gonna be quiet here for a second because, my god... This battle theme. Hit it! We're gonna be able to hear this theme during the course of this battle, but my god, Cyrus' battle theme slaps. Freaking great. Anyways, though, more importantly, we're battling the boss of Team Galactic out of nowhere. Uh, let's get things started. He opens up a Sneasel, level 34, Dark Ice type with the following moveset. Being a Dark Ice type and being a very fast Pokemon, there's a good chance this thing can hit your team for something relatively effective. Dark and Ice are both pretty effective types offensively. However, they have a very common weakness. They really don't like fighting type moves. So uh, I'm gonna switch out Bentley here and send in Galahad. And it should be a quick work of this thing. Okay, here comes Nice Punch. This one of did a ton to Torterra being grass ground four times a week. Uh, Ever, ow, okay, uh, new plan, because that did a lot more than I thought it was going to, ow. Uh, Galahad, I, 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 I know Galade's physical defense is not that great, but that did more than I was expecting. Sneasel hits pretty hard, honestly. You wouldn't think it, but, uh, this little guy is pretty hard hitting. However, after an Intimidate, oh. Okay, that's not great. Uh, we had, we explained froze, uh, the Frozen stats last time, but that's not great to see, is it? Uh, this suddenly got kind of dangerous, actually. Hold on. Uh, okay, thank God, we got out. Okay, whoo! The, the thing about Freeze is that it can be either the most inconsequential thing or the most dangerous thing of all time, so you can really never be too sure. And I gotta say it again, man. This battle theme, I freaking love Cyrus' theme. This theme rules. Good battle theme, what can I say? Uh, unfortunately, uh, my Gyarados is better get knocked out if I, let, if I stay in here. And most of my team does not match up well into ice. Actually, my entire team is weak to ice except for these two. Uh, I guess I'm staying in then. Use the Hyper Potion, fair enough. Uh, this is actually kind of dangerous though. My team kind of gets messed up by ice types. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, scary. And also, that Earthquake did absolutely nothing that time. What the heck happened? That did way less. And it has Quick Attack. Wow, okay. But I live! Yeah! Good stuff, Gyarados. That's my favorite Sea Serpent, baby! That's the Might of the Susano! Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna stay. I got nothing better to do. And we'll let him take out Gyarados. Although, he put up a very good fight. Took care of this massive threat. And now, after that Intimidate, I am hoping... I can live an Ice Punch, because otherwise we might be in some trouble. Alright, come on, Intimidate. Show me why you're one of the best abilities in the game! Yeah, there you go, baby! We only lived up because of Intimidate. Not bad. There we go, one out of three down. At least I, I think he has three Pokemon. I remember having three Pokemon, right? One down, two more to go. Golbat, a familiar face, unlike Sneasler. Uh, we've, seen, we, we've seen Sneasler quite a bit. You know what that means, baby? Ye old Rhyhorn. Coming in as a second Pokemon, level 34 as well. Poison Flying type, Golbat with the following moveset. You've seen Golbat before. You've seen Golbat plenty at this point. You should be familiar with how to deal with this thing. And you should also be familiar with how well a Rock type uh, fights this thing. So, uh, if we, assuming we actually get more than two Rock Blasts, I think we'll be just fine. I'm gonna need a lot, actually. Wow, this Golbat's taking nothing from this. 
Okay, what the hell is going on? I keep getting two. It's not... It's two to five. I promise you it's not supposed to be two hits. What is happening? Please? More than two. Come on. Give me like a four. What is going on? Like, genuinely what is going on? I don't get it. What is happening? Okay, well, apparently because Rhyhorn felt like getting two again, I, I genuinely do not know what's going on with that. Never mind, we lived on 1 HP, okay. Uh, we somehow came out of that alive. But like, what is going on with Rhyhorn, man? Why is it always two? Every single time, I don't get it. And finally, a familiar face, Murkrow. And honestly, there's only one way we can do this. By asserting dominance, baby. Murkrow versus Murkrow. His higher level, though. You forced my hand this time. Murkrow, a very familiar face. I don't think I have to explain too much about Murkrow. Dark flying type with the following moveset. However, my Murkrow is superior, so I'm going to win. Uh, his is Jewel Pick. That's actually kind of scary. It's going to hurt. It's a pretty strong flying move. Yeah, look at that. Ow. And I didn't want to do it, but I might actually end up using some items here because uh, we got very unlucky. I don't like using guys if I can avoid it, though, but uh, we might actually end up having to in this fight. Oh, I forgot he has a Switch Barrier as Murkrow. Okay, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to use some items here. Okay, in that case, you know what? Wait. I don't have any revives. I just remembered. Uh, we might have lost. And I'm not even kidding. We might have lost this battle. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, all because Rhyhorn felt like not getting more than two hits a billion times. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to use Drift Bloom. Uh, I am very sorry, Drift Bloom. Uh, you didn't deserve this. Do I really have no heals? I think I lost. I think I actually lost. Uh, I think Murkrow's faster than most of my team. And Torterra has no good way to hit this thing. Okay, uh, Galate, I'm going to need you to speed this thing somehow, and I need you to hit this thing with a strong Drain Punch. No, it's faster. We actually lost. All because Rhyhorn felt like getting two hits over and over again, so I had no HP to fight this Murkrow, because ideally, Rhydon will destroy this Murkrow. But, uh, not today, I guess, uh, because Rhyhorn just decided not to kill the Golbat. Uh, maybe Bentley can somehow win? I don't think it will. It's flying type. I have no good way to hit this thing. Uh, go Razor Leaf? Okay, we went first, but it's not really going to matter. I have no good way to hit this thing. We actually lost. Okay, uh, not great. I'm blaming Rhyhorn for this because they kept getting two hits every single time for whatever reason. I don't know what's going on with Rhyhorn. I even get quick caught twice. Wow, okay. Bentley is trying its absolute hardest to bring this back, but I don't think it's happening. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Grandma, but your mural is destroyed. Uh, Cyrus won. <laughs> because Rhyhorn felt like throwing the game for us. That's insane. All right, well, our first block out of the entire project, I'm pretty sure. I need to have a talk with Rhyhorn. I, I need to have a sit down with Rhyhorn. I need to sit him down and just have a one-on-one -on -one talk. Like, hey, man. Um, so, listen, about that last battle, um, wh what is going on? Okay, before we go back in there, uh, is there anything I could equip to make our team a little bit stronger for this? Uh, how about... Not really? Not really, no. Okay, uh, we'll just go back to the battle then, and we'll just have ourselves a good old try number two. But this time, I'm gonna lead Gallade. Because we know Sneasel's coming up immediately. Now, I will say, there is an item introduced in the future Pokemon games called the Loaded Dice, uh, that makes that multi-hit moves are guaranteed to hit at least four times. I really wish I had that right now. I'm curious, what do you say now? The cave is protected simply because it's old. We preserved it because we found the memories that it represents. It's the legacy of people and Pokemon beyond measure. A man who fails to understand that. What world could he dream of? I don't think I've ever seen the dialogue before. I don't think I've ever lost a Cyrus here, but hey, it's the first time for everything. Oh, well, am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Yes. 
Yeah, 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 I wanted to, yeah, 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 complete, yeah, 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 you're psychotic, man, we get it, alright. <laughs> Run it back! The son of a Rhyhorn wanted to screw me over, come on! Oh my god, Sneezer, whoa, I've never seen this one before, oh my god, new Pokemon, whoa, anyways, punch it in the face! Don't freeze me! I have a feeling it's gonna freeze me. Thank you, alright, die! Super punch! Four times with the fighting is no chance this thing lives. Yeah. I even almost got back to full HP too, not bad. And that's what was supposed to happen. Okay, out of that way, backs up gold bat. We see this thing before as well. Uh I'm gonna give you one more chance, Big Bertha. I'm gonna give you one more chance. But also I have a backup plan. Here's the plan, alright? I'm going to go ahead and use my stealth rock, because by using my stealth rock. Uh, Merkel's part flying type, which means he's gonna take a lot of damage from Stealth Rock because it's weak to rock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. And there you go. That Merkel will be even less of a threat when it comes to that kill. And now, surely after that unfortunate display, Big Bertha, you will surely get more than two hits. Surely this time, right? What is going on? I am actually concerned. What is happening? Am I going to make a completion of like every time I only got two hits? And it Rhyhorn. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Rhyhorn? Why does this keep happening, man? <laughs> am I going to get a new member on the team? Is that what I'm doing? Am I going to have to fire you? I don't want to fire you. I like Rhyhorn. Or the Rhyhorn line. Come on. Work with me here a little bit, please. You may be wondering why I'm in front of Gallade, because this thing is weak to fly. However, I have a psychic move. And I don't think it's going to KO me, because uh, Gallade actually has a pretty good special defense stat, right? Yeah, look at that. I kind of ate that up. Not bad. I'm just so baffled what's going on with Ryward, man. It happens every single time, though. I don't get it. I genuinely am concerned. Why am I only getting two hits every single time? I can't recall the time I ever got more than two hits. This is getting ridiculous. No, I am probably gonna get knocked out by this air cutter here. Never mind, alright, barely lived, not bad. Get one more confusion. And because I want uh Glade to get the experience, uh I'll bring in Big Boss. Am I gonna have to replace my Rhyhorn? Because I was not planning to, but at this rate, I'm getting kind of annoyed. I can't lie. It's going to be worth it, though, in the long run, I'm sure. It's just one of those things where it's like, what is happening with my Rhyhorn? I cannot wait till we get, like, Rock Slide or just literally anything. Literally anything over this move, please. There we go, 34. Catching up to his uh, Murkrow just by a little bit. Not bad. And here comes the Murkrow that ended this last time. However, I have a backup plan this time. The backup plan is Gyarados Sikkim. At the very least, me losing that first battle does mean we get to listen to Battle Fever again, which I do really like, as I mentioned. Do some good damage to Stealth Rock. And now, let's sell things properly, shall we? By spamming Dragon Rage. As he essentially spams, spams a move that's pretty much Dragon Rage. Funny how that works. Now, Mercury doesn't have a ton of HP, I'm pretty sure, so this should do a lot. Yeah, look at that. Two KO. Although, it does have the Citrus Bears. I gotta keep that in mind. Another Nightshade. I think it actually beats me. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's gonna KO me with the next Nightshade. Okay. Uh, not great. And because I don't feel like losing my Gyarados for no reason, I'm gonna sacrifice Drift Bloom. I'll give Cyrus some credit, though. I won't lie. This is probably the toughest battle we've had so far. Uh, trying to think off the top of my head. Was there any tougher ones? No, I think it was this one, honestly. Just knock me out, please. Do I have Aftermath? I might have Aftermath. Hold on, wait a minute. I don't think I do. Do I? I don't. Okay, I was going to say, if I have Aftermath, I'm pretty sure this worker just got so KO, which is very funny. 
Uh, get in there, Bentley. This thing's intimidated, so Jill Pick shouldn't do like any damage to you. Get your revenge. This still gonna hurt, but I'll be fine, right? Yeah, look at that. Not bad at all. Uh, or I can just miss. Okay, RNG, please. Uh, be with me. Let's play Curse is, uh, definitely real this episode. I don't know what's been going on. Thank you. Okay. Rematch successfully won. That was... That was messy. I'll take the level up, though. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. Thank you, even though it took two tries. Remarkable. Ferelda, your attitude told me what I needed to know. The beings of time and space are brought together. They can't be stopped. And he teleported out of there. All right. Such a strange, strange man, spending such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. It's a wonderful world. What do you is there to change it? Oh, yes, I found something useful. You should take this. I belong to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. And this is the main reason we wanted to come here. Besides, you know, doing a good deed. HMO free. If Pokemon learned surf, it can carry you across water and the sea. You've been a great help. You have my thanks for it. We need to progress the game because Surf is one of the most important gems in the Pokemon series. Because Surf, quite simply, lets you travel across water nice and easy. And also, not to mention, it's actually a pretty good move in its own right. 95 power, special water move. 100 accuracy, pretty good. The only thing to note about Surf is that it hits the entire field of Devil Battles. And I do mean the entire field. If you're playing Devil Battle and you have a partner that's not immune to water for whatever reason, uh, you will hit your partner as well. So uh, keep that in mind. That said, though, uh, I'll be honest with you, Gyarados has not had a water move yet, and I don't think I'm actually going to need all four move slots on my Gyarados in the long run, so honestly, I think I'm pretty cool just having serve. And when we get a physical water move, because Gyarados is the physical attacker primarily, we'll just keep it both. There you go. Something kind of funny, though, if I'm not mistaken, I think we actually just saw it. Uh, we can't do it yet, but when Rhyhorn actually evolves, it can actually learn surf, which is very funny. But that being said, our business here, Diamond the Mural, is now completed. Uh, Cyrus, I will give you props. That was a hard-fought battle. Also, hey, Cynthia, how you doing? Was everyone all right here? You saw those strange people with the Galactic Bond, didn't you? I see Galactic people. I thought they were harmless. If our ways they dress, now that we are wild cleanse of making a new universe. Well, that was all just silly talk. Nothing to take seriously. But there's surprisingly more children expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, what the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Canada City. It's stock of ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. You might have to complete your Pokedex too. The quick way to Canada City is to go west of Drupal Life City. Sounds like we have our next destination. Thank you, Cynthia, as always. But uh, before any of that, let's go heal up our team because we kind of got beat up by Cyrus there. I can't lie. That was kind of brutal. And thankfully, we now have the Fly HM on our Murkrow, so now we don't have to run it run all the way over there. We can just fly on over there. Nice and easy. And enjoy all that. So that being said, how about we take a look at our handy then map here once I leave the Pokemon Center. Like so. And let's take a look over here, shall we? Uh, if we take a look at our town map. Oh, I had to scroll up. I don't think I've actually ever talked about this, but on the bottom screen here you can see this Pokeball icon. If you spin it, you can actually go from the menu. If you spin it properly, it goes pretty fast. I haven't heard using the D-pad though. Call me old-fashioned. So as you can see here, she was talking about West of Jubilife, meaning Candlelight City is right over here. And honestly, as you can see here, all the colored uh, icons are like places we've explored already. Uh, we've explored a lot of the Sinnoh region. We've, we've made some pretty good progress. However, before we head over to Candlelight City, there is something I want to do. First of all, we just got here into this town. We haven't looked at the rest of the town, so how about we go visit the, visit the uh, people living here, shall we? we? Must bow down and train. For that, time is unimportant. Or uh, Uniportant? I, I I read that wrong. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. And by talking to this guy, we get the Pokedex Analog Watch, which is exactly what you think it is. You dang kids don't know what an analog watch is, but let me tell you. Back in my day, the analog watch was the greatest invention of all time, see? I passed by it. There it is. It's literally the analog clock instead of a digital one. Except it's on a digital watch, so it's also digital. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't think too hard about it. But uh, kind of funny. 
Now that being said, there is actually a route over this way you can explore. You don't actually ever have to go here, it's completely optional. But uh, maybe down the line we'll go check it out. For the time being though, I think I'm fine. Then what's over here? Well, okay, God, what do you need? Now, I should have stopped by over here because this is this town's version of a Pokemart. However, this Pokemart is a little bit special. Not only does it have a ton of good items, and for the future, I am going to buy some revives because uh, I've been getting very unlucky as of late. Let me just stock up healing items since we haven't shopped in a while. We have so much. Look at how much money we have. I'm the most I'm the most rich 10 year old you've ever done seen. And uh, I guess we can buy some Ultra Balls while we're here. We have, I don't think we've actually seen Ultra Balls before, but they're essentially the next step, step up in Pokemon power. They're better than Great Balls, but slightly more expensive. And by slightly, I mean double the price, but it's definitely worth it. And also down over here, we got ourselves some full heals, all the usual good items. I'll take some Max Repels over here as well. Like I said, we're kind of loaded right now. We may as well buy some stuff, right? And I'll buy some full heals, because, you know, it's me. I had terrible luck, so I'm going to get my Saz ailments. And I believe this guy over here sells some pretty interesting stuff as well. Uh, yes, he sells three really cool Pokeballs. The Dust Ball, the Quick Ball, and the Tyrant Ball. All three of these Pokeballs I'm quite big fans of. I think we've seen a Dust Ball before, but just in case we haven't, the Dust Ball is a Pokeball that works better if you're playing at nighttime or if you're in a dark place like a cave. And a lot of important encounters later in the game are in caves or you can make be uh, battled at nighttime. So, very powerful Pokeball. Big fan of this one. They're a little bit expensive, but they're definitely worth the cost because they are very powerful overall. The next one is the Quick Ball. It has a pretty cool looking design. And the Quick Ball is great for catching Pokemon at the start of a battle. So the faster you can try and catch the Pokemon, the more effective it's going to be. And honestly, uh, very handy as well. I'm going to buy 10 of these as well. And then finally, probably my, one of my favorite looking Pokeballs in the series, the Tyra Ball. I just like the color scheme of orange and black and it looks really nice in this Pokeball. This is the reverse of the Quick Ball where it gets stronger the longer the battle drags on for. I believe it's every 10 turns or so the catcher gets a bit better. I believe that's how it works. Pretty sure. Big fan of these things as well, though. I'll be buying 10 as well. Because like I said, we have tons of money. May as well spend it. Definitely worth stopping by just for these things, though. Very good Pokeball selection over here. And honestly, remember this place for the future, because all these Pokeballs are going to be very handy down the line. And there's no way we're ignoring this house over here, because this looks very important. A book. My greatest enemy. Reading. It's an old book. Zachary began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, until it just bloomed among us. Enriching our lives. When the Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When the Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. Free Pokemon mentioned in the town where a mural of free Pokemon resides. Now, call me crazy, guys, but I think they might be related. Mmm. Keep that in the back of your mind. I don't know. They might be related. Mmm. Now, Cornet Tower is at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky and to space in this region. True. If I climb the top of Mount Cornet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Uh, probably. As we've seen before, Mount Cornet is freaking massive. So that's probably true. And with that, our grand tour of Celestia Town has come to an end. Now, there are two ways we can go about this. We could either fly over to Jubilee City, or I can go ahead here and check my handy dandy town map and take a look at where we're going from this side if I were to take this way. This would take us over here to Mount Cornet. That'll take us down to Eternal City. That'll take us down to Orberg City. And we have to run all the way back. Or we could just simply fly back. Now, that being said, we also have this route over here, Route 212. And route... Uh, man, I didn't mean to say and. Uh, just route, route 212 we've never been on before. But we kind of have. We picked up the Dawn Stone. We never actually explored it. So here's what I'm thinking. For the time being, we'll resume with the main story. But I think at some point in the future, we're going to have a little bit of a pit stop. And we'll explore the routes we haven't been on before. Because there are some routes we have not gone through quite yet. But for the time being, how about we take advantage of our handy dandy HM that we've been picking up over time. And flying over to... Jubilee City. But it wasn't been to Jubilee City, honestly. It'll be nice to be back. Do, 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 do. Been a while since we've been here. However, now that we got out of the, the freaking Silent Hill, the route, uh, we can now... Put good old Drift Bloom away. You've done a good service to us. Thank you very much for your time, Drift Bloom. And now, uh, I think I want my HM God to return. It's not a complete party about HM God, you know? Alrighty. And then with that, we're now ready to set off. Supplies bought, Pokemon team arranged. Let's get going. Before we
we headed out, however? I think it's this building I want to visit. Uh, if you remember... Uh, okay, it's not this build. Actually, wait, no, is it this building? It might be this guy I'm thinking of. I don't get commercials shown on TV. I attract more customers at the department store. That's not the guy I was looking for, although good luck with that. I'm looking for a specific individual that I've mentioned before a while back. Oh yeah, it's this building. I'm thinking of this building. Hold on. We want to talk to this guy over here. It's been a while, but uh, I mentioned him a while ago. You might not remember though. It's been a bit. Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Poketch Company. Hi, hi. Your patience is rewarded. I developed a new Poketch app. For every few gym badges you pick up, you can actually get some Poketch apps from this guy. Now that we have a total of six badges. Actually, no, we have five badges, not six. I can't count. <laughs> we can now pick up some stuff from this guy. The memo pad app can be used for jotting down quick notes. That's the memo pad. It's, well, it is what it is. That's a uh, good description, honestly. Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Pokédex company. Hi, hi. Your patience is rewarded. I developed another Pokédex app. Next up, we get the marking app. This one, if I remember correctly, this is the one I actually really recommend you pick up. This one's very important for future stuff. The marking map allows you to place uh, the placement of markers. I'm not consistently displayed as convenient, no? You can also mark things so that it's not much more useful. Yeah, is this the Pokédex I'm thinking of? You want to make sure that you pick this up. You're not going to be using it for the time being. But I promise, this one right here... You're gonna want to pick this up. Very useful for stuff down the line, way later on in the game, but trust me, you want this. And also, more importantly, of course, obviously, you know, we couldn't ignore it. The memo pad, check this out. Isn't technology amazing? Hi, hi, I'm the president of the Pokédex Company. Hi, hi, your patience is rewarded. We're going to get another new Pokédex app. Get ourselves the Link Searcher. Uh, I don't know why we need to find where Link is. I hope he's figuring out where Zelda went. The Link Searcher app determines the availability of wireless hotspots. Unfortunately, uh, while this is kind of a neat idea, uh, this is a Gen 4 Pokemon game. You're probably not going to get to use this ever again. Uh, thanks though, I guess. Hi, hi, I'm the president of Pokédex Company. I developed a new Pokédex app, but it's not quite done. I guess that'll be ready when you get seven gym badges. Uh, how do you know that? Are you a psychic? But yeah, uh, you can ask him when your next Pokédex will be available. We need seven badges before the next one becomes available. But it's good to pick them up while we're here. And with all that mouthful out of the way, seriously, like I was rambling on for a bit, but I kind of asked for it. Let's head on over to... Uh, have I talked to this guy? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, this guy we actually got the old rod from, from like, a forever ago. It's how I got my Magikarp, and furthermore my Gyarados, so, you know, appreciate it, man. On to Route 218. do for next I can see to boot. Now, previously, as you can imagine, when we get over here, uh, there's a bunch of water in front of us, and we're gonna be kind of stuck. However, with the brand new power of our search HM, we can now surf on top of sea serpents. With some pretty cool relaxing music, and it gets interrupted immediately by a wild Pokemon. It'd be how it do. As you can imagine while you're surfing, you can run into Pokemon all over the place. And the levels that your Pokemon you can run into kind of vary quite a bit. You can run to like Pokemon are level 24, you can run to Pokemon like level 30. It's kind of all over the place when you're surfing. Which is kind of neat. And honestly, if I didn't, there's actually a Pokemon in here. We've seen it once before, it's called Luminion. If I didn't have my Gyarados on my team, I would have probably caught a Luminion for my team. Just because I like the Pokemon's design that much. Even though I don't think Luminion's a great Pokemon, but I'm not really a person to worry about how good a Pokemon is, you know? I just reach it because I think they're neat. Over here, pick up an item over here. Rare candy. Ooh, hold on. Not a bad find. As we know, rare candy gives you a free level up upon you being used. And honestly, I think I want to use it immediately. Uh, I forgot it's actually in the medicine pocket in this game. Uh, this game is a little different. <laughs> they changed that in the future Pokemon games. Uh, I think Rare was actually about to level up. Hold on, let me check. I think Rare was literally about to level up. If it is, I'm going to wait till it level up and then give it to it, right? Let's see. Yeah, 98 experience away. Yeah, uh, I'll save it. There's no point using Rare Candy on it now. It'll just be kind of a waste. Back to the water. Now, this time, how about we appreciate the nice music without getting turned into a battle? Let me use a full here so we can appreciate, appreciate the nice tunes. Isn't it so serene? All the surfings in the Pokemon games, they all rule. They're all very nice to listen to. I could surf all day, and honestly, uh, one of the original complaints about Diamond and Pearl is that the game ran kind of slowly. 
And they spit it up in this game for surfing, so, uh... Surfing in this game is pretty pleasant, can't lie. Unfortunately, though, our surfing times run short. We must carry on with another good battle theme. Or just theme in general. A man of the sea is also a man of Pokemon! I mean, yeah, sure, checks out, yeah, makes sense. So the Skylar and his Mantike. Aw, oh, look at that, like. Very cute indeed. Unfortunately, uh, I can't really hurt this thing. This thing has like a billion special defense, and uh, I can't drain punch it, because this thing, believe it or not, is actually a part flying type Pokemon. It's like Gyarados. I don't know if it's a Pokemon and flying fish, but they sure love them. A very fast flying fish, as you can see, with agility. Uh, how much is he's payback? Uh, I shouldn't be faster than it. Why did I go first? It used agility. I, okay, I guess we'll never know. I guess he maybe he used like Whirlwind or something? Because Whirlwind's a move that goes last guaranteed, but still kind of weird. How'd that happen? Very confused, but whatever. We take it. And now I shall honor you, Machoke, with a fighting on fighting type duel. Except I'm part psychic, so I'm kind of cheating, but you know, don't worry about it. That did a lot, actually. Seismic Toss is also could probably do a lot. Uh, let's see, how much does it do? Eh, not too bad. Let me get some of that HP back, though. Dry to punch you! Yeah, I love moves that give you HP back, right? Never mind, I don't love them. I lived on one HP. Wow, unfortunate. Although I think so. Yeah, something's just gonna KO. This is a recoil move, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll just say Dream Punch out the KO. Right, close enough. And if I'm not mistaken, him level 31 here is actually gonna be very important because, yeah, this is the reason why I evolved my curly the way I did. We get the ability to learn Psycho Cut at level 31. This move is a defining move for Gallade. Psycho Cut here is a 70 power physical psychic attack with a high critical hit ratio. And that physical is very important because it means it actually uses Gilead's good attacking stat. So, goodbye confusion. Hello, Psycho Cut. Also, Psycho Cut just sounds cool, right? It's just a cool sounding move. Can't get too mad about that. It just sounds sick. Anchors away! For a long time coming, but we finally got Psycho Cut on our Gilead. You know, it, it felt kind of wrong not having a Psycho Cut Gilead. You know, it's kind of iconic. And since Big Burp is so close to leveling up, how about we take on you as well? Little Rock, it's rid of a battle! Now, there's nothing over here outside of, you know, grass and berries to pick up, but, uh, I still want to level up. Holy shit, it's him. Dilly Lily Whoop Man. No way. Focus energy, raises critical hit rate, although let's. I'm getting so tired. I'm getting so tired of Rock Blast. Please, God. I'm actually about to Google when I learn a move besides Rock Blast. This is getting annoying. Oh my God, it hit more than twice. My game isn't, it hit four times. This is character development. Oh my God, it actually hit more than twice. I am I'm appalled. Thank you, Rhyhorn. I forgive you for everything. Holy crap. Thank you. I, I I forgive everything. This guy actually has some Pokemon Seals on his Pokemon. That's pretty cool, honestly. Now, unfortunately, this is a Magnemite, and I'm a ground type, so I, I'm kind of not scared unless this thing has, like, Flash Cannon, but I kind of doubt that. And despite the fact that Magnemite is actually floating in its sprite, do not be fooled. This thing can't be hit by ground moves. So, uh, yeah, it's fortunate weak to them. Goodbye. I have forgiven Big Burfa for all his transgressions. Thank you for hitting Rock Blast four times. Oh my god. Hey, here, that's my guitar weeping. I'm sorry, man. Had to be done. And now that out of the way, uh, how about now we use that rare candy to get in that level up? Boom. 33. Wants to learn. Oh, I was really hoping that said something else. All right, takedown. Eh. Not a terrible move, not a great move. Takedown here, it's better than Stomp, but uh, Takedown is a 90 power physical move. 85 accuracy, so not that great. And it does a little bit of recode to yourself as well. Not a great move, but I'm definitely going to be clicking more than Stomp, so I guess I'll tell you, learn it. There you go. Alrighty, with all that said, we've arrived at our next destination. Kanalov City. Who might you be? 
Sakura, long time no see! Oh, you look puzzled. You wonder who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant, and Don's father. The very last time I upgraded your Pokedex, you see. So I chose the spot on a hunch that you passed through. Sakura, may I have your Pokedex for a moment? Let's see. What was I supposed to put in the software here? Kachunk! Oh, done. I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? I can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Holy crap. Oh my god, technology. Okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. I also ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic. The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee City. It's probably not to worry over. I'll be on my way now. Yeah, I, I don't know if the professor knows this, but they have bombs now. Uh, I think it's very much worth being concerned over them. But with that being said, we've arrived on a new destination. The beautiful Kennelay City. Seriously, this might actually be my favorite city visually in the entire game. It's gorgeous. That being said, for the time being, I think I'll do it now for this episode of Pokemon Platinum. In the next episode, we'll explore Canada City and see what there is to do here. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. God, I love this song so much. This region kills it with the piano, man. It's so good. But I'll have more time to gush next time. See y'all then.